Emmerich! Emmerich! We need your help! Where is Emmerich? Hi, Lucia. Oh, good, you're going to get Emmerich. It is good to see you, my friend. Tis but a pity I must be under such circumstances, but Lucia informed me of the urgency of your suite. I would certainly have sent for some wine. Uh, but to business, I thank you for bringing these developments in Alamigo to our attention. Ishgar, of course, uh, send. Ishgar will, of course, send an envoy to attend the Consul of Gridania. I cannot say who will represent us, however, as the choice is not mine to make, not mine alone at any rate. Given the eminence of the threat, we may forego the formalities of the full assembly, but I will still need to consult my counterpart in the House of Calm commons prior to proceeding. Will you permit me some time to make the necessary arrangements? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I thank you. Our representative, wh whomever we select, will require a suitable escort. Make your preparations and inform Sir Hallon Handler that he is to lend in your absence. Yes, Lord Commander. Pray accompany Lucia to the Gates of Judgment and make ready for, to depart for Gridania. I'll have our envoy join you as soon as I can. Full speed, you on your way. Sure! of judgment. Let me just sit here and stare at the wall, you know, just because that's what I do. We meet again. As it happens, my counterpart in the House of Commons agreed that I should act as guard's envoy. Not, I concede, that there was ever any real doubt. As Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, it is my duty to sanction any military cooperation. Be that as it may, I cannot in good conscience make the decision alone. Not with the ink scarce dry in the Republic's book uh, statutes. I trust you understand, my friend. I must test your patience still further by making a brief stop at Camp Dragonhead. Given the trouble brewing uh, in the Black Shroud, I would see that the uh, garrison is ready to defend our defend the border. I mean, that's fine. <sighs> oh, hey, you're here. Hey! How wonderful to see you, and Sir Emmerich, too. To what do I owe the unexpected pleasures? I will have some mulled wine brought up from the kitchens at once, if you'll excuse. Nay, do not trouble yourself, Honora. Uh, we shall soon be on our way, Lucia, uh, Lucia. A brief summary, if you will. Yes, Lord Commander. Those villains hardly need an excuse to wage war. Bloodletting come, uh, comes as naturally as breathing to a no uh, girl, uh, I mean Imperial. And thus we shall strengthen our patrols as you suggest. We shall also be sure to communicate uh, these developments to Lord Fonsell uh, and the Observatorium. I see you have everything in hand. Carry on, Commander.
surprised to see yours truly at the helm. You and me both. I doubt I'll ever feel worthy to sit where he sat. Yet we can but play the hands we're dealt, and with little help from the veterans and Honoro's ceaseless ch uh, chiding, uh, I'm sure I'll muddle through. So worry not, old girl. Off to Gridania with you. That hurt. I just pounded my chest like he did, and that hurt. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Ow. Oy fei. <laughs> Diplomatic. Ow. Wah. What are they exploding? Someone's doing something. That didn't sound like crafting. Okay, I'm gonna take the short route. The envoy of Ishgard has is arrived? Very good. This way. If you Ah, and the Leminson party as well. I had hoped to slip in unnoticed, but I see I had I was not the only one delayed in my arrival. It's greeting, Sir Emmerich. Admiral, always a pleasure. And Neve, I trust you are well. Tis a day for reun reunions, it seems. I believe you are well acquainted with my escort. Hey, you giddy. I, I was glad to hear from real that the uh, missing signs have now been found. There is much and more I would discuss with you, but let us first attend to the issue at hand, shall we? I bid you welcome, my friends. As you will by now be aware, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have come into possession of certain intelligence concerning recent developments in the region of Gear Abanya. It springs, I am assured, from an unimpeachable source. Is that not so, Master Alfino? Indeed, Elder Seedseer. Our information comes directly from a member of the Resistance's inner circle, and we have no cause to doubt its veracity. This griffin of theirs is a fool if he thinks he can hold Belsar's wall against the Empire. When the Imperials move to take it back, they will come in force. And the resulting fighting is all but certain to spill over into the Black Shroud. At the Battle of Cartano, the combined might of three grand companies labored to contend with the remnants of but a single Imperial Legion. Alone, Gridania would be hard-pressed indeed to hold back the tide, should the Garleans turn their minds from reclamation to invasion. May I once more convey my nation's deepest regrets for our inaction in the days prior to the Calamity. Tis a stain upon our ledger that I would fain remove. Elder Seedseer, I do hereby request leave to deploy a defensive force within the borders of Gridania. Ishgard's return to the Alliance shall be honored by more than mere ink upon parchment. 
The Doman people too would join any effort that weakens our common foe. We are few, but our most seasoned shinobi are at your disposal. On behalf of my people, I offer you my humble thanks. Gridania welcomes your assistance. It is time we set our contingency plans in motion. Is the Alliance agreed? Then let us make ready for war. Victory favors the swift. And there is much to be done. Alright, boys and girls, we're going to war. The Council knows that Alamigo will not soon be wrested from the Empire, and its decision to bolster the border's defenses seems eminently practical. Why then, brother, do you scowl so? I agree that they have chosen the wisest course available. Indeed, the only reasonable one. Yet something feels awry. In making ready for war, is the Alliance not granting the Griffin the very thing he desired? Any attempt to hold the wall is doomed to failure, aye. But I wonder if we have misjudged the prize for which he plays. Meaning this is what he wants. He knew that we would go off and tell uh, the Alliance. And he knows damn well that he can't hold the wall. Holding the wall was never his objective. That the council was able to reach an accord so swiftly, so swiftly is a heartening development in and itself. I only hope my misgivings uh, prove unfounded. Ah, good. You have yet to depart. I feared I had missed you. Sir Emmerich! Master Alphanode, a pleasure as always, and Mistress Elise, how wonderful to see you thus recovered. Pardon the interruption. I had hoped to thank uh, Neve for serving as our escort before our duties called her away. I also wish that I uh, wish to thank our Doman ally. Forgive me, my lord. I was but awaiting an opportune moment to join the conversation. Whoops. Uh, no apologies are necessary, Mistress Yugiri. I was most grateful for your interjection when I offered Ishgard support. My nation's historic fa failure to heed the Alliance's pleas for aid is a matter of uh, record. Even so, the Alliance leaders were plainly unprepared for my impromptu apology. Uh, the resulting air of awkwardness might have lingered longer were it not for your timely offer to, of cooperation, which allowed the Elder Seer to accept us both. I very much appreciate the gesture. I only did my duty, Sir Emmerich. The Empire is an enemy to us all, and we are grateful for the opportunity to fight at your side. Ah, full glad uh, are we to have you. Pray convey my regards to the Scions, my friends. We must re uh, return to Ishgard. Whatever is wrong with a simple sorry or thank you, must these politicians always make a speech out of everything? That is how we adults speak, dear sister. <laughs> Perhaps the ones who like the sound the sound of their own voice. In any case, our business here is concluded. We should be on our way as well. Will you accompany us to Revan and Stoll, Yugiri? Actually, I think I shall first pay a brief visit to the East Shroud. I am curious to know how Papalimo and Ida are fared in their tasks with the Sylphs. Not to mention what has been going on at Belsar's Wall. I will join you at the Rising Stones and on. Hi, 
this, eh? Oops. I'll take the elegant silver. Ah! Griffin, Griffin on the wall. Ugh. <sighs> Crap. If anything, I'm pretty sure this is the dungeon. My brain is a little foggy. Ah, you are returned from the console, but what of Alphano? Did some other matter require his attention? My apologies, friends. I trust we have not kept you waiting over long. Greetings, everyone. Oh, Kryle! Uh, how's Nago doing? Will she be alright? Won't she? I don't see why not. She's sleeping at the moment. Tataru is keeping an eye on her, so we'll know soon enough if there's any change in her con uh, condition. Her wounds are healing well. Uh, with, su with sufficient rest, I am certain she will make a full recovery. Thank goodness for that. Now, mayhaps you would share with us the Council's decision? Each of the nations, Ish Ishgard included, has uh, committed in providing military support to Gridania. The Eorazian Alliance will soon have significant force in the Black Shroud, ready to respond to any Imperial act of aggression. You know, I almost wish the Council would stop messing around and give the Griffin what he wants. I wouldn't like to be the Imperial caught between the Resistance and the Alliance. Ida, you cannot, you cannot seriously... One does not lightly go to war with Gar with the Garlean Empire. Quite. To be on to op to open hostilities without due uh, consideration would be to invite disaster. <sighs> if only there were some way to reach the Griffin, uh, some means of uh, means to convince him to abandon this reckless course. It may not be entirely un. It may not be entirely unfeasible. There is a network of tunnels beneath Balesar's wall, secret passages uh, dug by the resistance to provide a way out of Alamigo, which may equally serve as a way in. Precisely, if all is, if all are in agreement, I would be one to take to undertake the necessary negotiations. Uh, I am familiar with the route, and the Resistance is familiar with me. About as familiar as they are with me, you mean. Uh, say what you want, I'm coming too. I have some experience in practice of infiltration. If you would have me, if me, my services are at your disposal. As are mine, it has been far too long since I shared uh, shadow with a shinobi, and I do not intend to waste the opportunity. Four is quite sufficient for an infiltration mission. Greater numbers will only serve to increase the risk of detection. Kryle and I will uh, will direct our energies elsewhere. What of you, Leviers? I will return to the East Shroud, stand watch over the border. Uh, should matters take a turn for the worst, uh, it would seem wise to be on hand. Might I prevail upon you to accompany accompany me, Neve. Uh, Gridania will be safer for your uh, safer for your presence. And while it may seem the most uh, thrilling may not seem the most thrilling duty, uh, dear sister, might I ask you remain at the Rising Stone to pass on uh, messages and so on? To hold the fort, you mean? Very well. I suppose the task must fall to someone. Safe travels, all of you. Yay! <laughs> Alright, let us go! Astrum Orients. I just heard a weird sound. I don't think any of you, anyone else heard it. <laughs> ah, there you are. Come, Armistice. 
Ara Masex Spire awaits. The Alliance offer officers on platform should be able to appraise us of any development at the wall. Fancy meeting you two here. We will. Uh, we were about to set forth. Indeed, I was about to say, 12 watch over you, but I doubt you have need uh, of divine protection, even if you are venturing into enemy territory. Don't worry, Elfinode, we'll have the griffin by the scruff of his neck before you know it. Do make up your mind, Ida. Nary a moment ago, you seemed ready to shake the griffin by the hand rather than his neck. So, which is, which is it to be? It would be best to decide before we enter into negotiations. Trust me, Cuckolimo. I'll shake whatever needs shaking. The talking part I leave to you. <sighs> God damn it. I think I feel a headache coming on. Let's be on our way, shall we? Where are you going? Belsar's wall is behind me. Ah, some things never change. Well then, shall we make for the spire? Our alliance friends will doubtless have news for us. I feel something odd coming on. <sighs> Welcome, Warrior of Light. I assume you are here to speak with our commanding officers. You will find them uh, on the observer observations platform. Bleh, I can't speak right now. Oh my gosh. I've been doing a lot of speaking today. <laughs> hey! Greetings, my friends. Tis good to see you both well. I was hoping you might turn up. I've dragged half the watch here, see? And the sight of you might help uh, remind him why we bothered. If memory serves, I have not seen many of you since the day of Grand Melee. Having borne the brunt of your blows, I'm, I, may I say that what an honor it is to stand at your side. Tis heartening uh, indeed to see the realm's most stalwart defenders thus gathered in common cause. Speaking of which, what news from the wall? All has been quiet. Uh, that's not quiet. What seven hells? Fighting has broken out atop the wall. A full-scale assault. So the griffin has made his move. Someone has. And what's that supposed to mean? The attackers. They're wearing Grand Company colors. Impossible. We gave no such order. Of course, the wall was never the griffin's target. It was bait. We have been goaded into deploying our armies nearby, thus lending weight to this deception. If those uniforms were convincing enough to deceive my scouts, the Empire will surely think we've launched an offensive. This could mean war. Even so, this may yet be in no more of a diversion. With the armies of the Alliance occupying the Empire's attention, it would be... Uh, comparatively easy for the griffin supporters to slip into El Amigo. He could then incite a rebellion amongst the populace, which the Imperial's Imperial Reserves would hard-press to contain. Eorzea, meanwhile, would be plunged into chaos. Neve, we must make for the wall at once. Uh, yeah! Just you two? Our companions embarked on a mission to sway the griffin from his course and are likely halfway to his command post by now. They will emerge in the midst of the raging battle and I do not mean to abandon them to their fate. <laughs> it will be dangerous, aye, but the confusion may work to our advantage. If we are careful to avoid the skir uh, skirmishing, it may yet be possible to reach the griffin. And if, uh, if we can do that... Lady Hilda, might I ask that you have an airship ready to bear the Scions to safety? Ha! I don't know who this Lady Hilda is, Marshal, but you can count on me. We must prepare for Imperial uh, reprisal. 
May the navigator guide us through the storm. Ah. Slobby. <laughs> oh. Forward, comrades! The time has come to drive the Empire from Alamigo and force action onto those who have turned their backs to our suffering for so long. Let this victory be the first step in the liberation of our homeland. Alamigo will be free, no matter the cost. Definitely getting out of hand, as the usual. From what Papalimo told me, the trail ahead should lead us into the shadow of the wall. As for the two objectives, I suggest we divide our forces. I shall make straight, uh, straight ways for the tunnels and attempt to intercept our comrades ere they... Uh, stumble into a bloodbath. While I do, I must ask that you scale the wall. Uh, know that I would not propose such a course if there were any other way. But the time for subtlety is past. Take a take a band of your most trusted companions and cut a path through the griff to the griffin. I may make make him see reason by any means necessary. Once we are free for the uh, free of the tunnels, we will make for your position with all due haste. And if everything proceeds according to plan, Hilda will then swoop in, spirit us all away to safety. I only pray that we have enough time. <sighs> Ding. Oh boy. Well, my lovelies, I'm going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe if you so choose to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!